Hey everybody, this lesson is uh, the second part of module three, it's, uh, or module nine three, sorry, constructing box plots. So some uh, textbooks call them box and whisker plots. So a box plot can be used to show how the values in a data set are distributed. And so another name is called box and whisker plot. So the box comes from the quartiles. Remember quartile one and quartile three? And so, and then the median also, that's where the box comes. And then the whiskers uh, extend out to the range number, so the minimum number and the maximum number. Okay, so we're going to use the data here to make a box plot. Okay, so here we have uh, the number of runs scored by a softball team in 20 games are given below. So we have to rearrange them in order so we can find uh, the quartiles and the min, the max. So there they are rearranged. So here's the min, obviously. Here's the max, okay? So uh, there's 20 numbers. So the, the 10th and 11th number would give us the median. So that would be these two numbers. This is the 10th number in. This is the 11th number in. So the median is the average of those two guys, okay? So 7.5 is the median. Then starting from here is our lower half of numbers. So there's 10 numbers here with this 7, this 7 right here, all the way down to this 2. There's 10, so the 5th and 6th number, those two numbers will give us the quartiles, and then the 5th and 6th number starting right here. Okay, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, there's the 5th number, there's the 6th number. So quartile 3 is 10, quartile 1 is um, uh, 4. So this is where we're going to draw our boxes from. And then our whiskers are going to extend out to 2 and to 14. So we need to make a, a number line. Uh, that's going to represent all those numbers above. So it's got to include all the way from 2 all the way up to 14. So I think I started at 0 and went up to 16, yeah. Okay, so what I did is uh, I drew the number line and then plotted uh, each of the five numbers. And the, and the five numbers are actually in, this, in AP Statistics. It's called the five number summary system. The five number summary system is 2, 4, 7.5, comma 10 comma 14 okay anyway so here they are plotted here's two plotted on a number line here's four here's 7.5 here's 10 here's 14 okay let me slide that up right here okay so the box comes from uh, the quartiles and the median so quartile one the median and quartile 10 so we're going to draw vertical lines to represent uh, the box right there and then so there's the box and then the whiskers extend out to the range number so the minimum and the maximum there's our groovy looking box and whisker plot isn't that a beauty right there okay so right here this is the IQR this is the interquartile range right here okay and this is uh, the range from uh, 2 all the way up to 14 right there okay all right so uh, the smaller this box is, the more uh, the more the less the numbers vary basically. So the more they're closer together, the smaller the box is. Okay. All right. Here's another one. So uh, we got all these numbers. Let's rearrange them in order. And then uh, I think there's 20 numbers there. So the tenth and eleventh will be the median, and then the quartiles will be the uh, the the f one two three four the fourth and fifth one in. Okay. And then up here. So. Uh, anyways, there's the quartiles, quartile 3, quartile, um, so quartile 1, quartile 3, here's the max, and then we're going to uh, make a number line that fits them all. going to put points on those for all those numbers, 3, 13, 14, 18, 23, and then the box comes from uh, the 13, the 14, and the 18, so let's go ahead and draw that box right there, and then the whiskers extend out to the range numbers, okay? Easy, huh? All right, so here we're going to construct two box, box plots, one on top of each other, so uh, one for each set of data, and then we'll compare the medians and measure the variation of each distribution, okay? So how much do the numbers vary? That's what variation means, okay? So here's the net worth of the 10 richest people in the world uh, for uh, for two th year 2012 and year 2013 in billions of dollars, golly. So here's the richest guy, 69 billion, and then they're in order, they're just in backwards order, okay, all the way down to the 10th richest guy, he only has 29 or 25.4 billion, or she, okay, and then here's the uh, 2013, the 10 richest people right there. All right, so the box plots, uh, the five number summary system is going to be the minimum, the quartile one, the median. So um, uh, I'm just saving time in this video right here, you guys. So here's the five number summary system. This is the min, this is the max. 
this is the uh, the middle number so that's the median that's the first quartile and that's the third quartile similarly here's the five number summary system here okay so uh, these middle numbers are going to be our boxes and then we extend them out to the range numbers okay so there's that right there uh, so here's they're all plotted right here here's the 25.4 here's the 26 on this number line right there and we get box and whisker plots that look like that okay so now um, the directions say um, uh, okay that's I just slid that up right there and here are the directions right here it says construct two box plots one for each data and then it says compare the medians and the measure of the variance for each one okay well the medians you guys in 2012 the median was less than uh, 2013 okay but they're close uh, but the median for 2013 is slightly greater than that of 2012 I forgot to put a T right there all right, and then uh, the ranges are close, so the range numbers are how much do they range by? So look at this number, the small number to this number. So how much is 69 minus 25.4? Well, it's pretty close to 79 minus uh, 29. The range is the distance from the smallest to the biggest. Okay, but look at this IQR, the interquartile range right here for 2013 is much greater than it is for 2012. So this is the IQR. See how this box is much wider than this box right here? The numbers from the smallest to the biggest are pretty close from the smallest to the biggest, although it's a little bit higher in 2013, but the IQR is uh, definitely uh, much uh, more spread out. Uh, in 2013. Okay, this is a different box plot. It's of the same people, but it's of their ages of the 10 richest people. Okay, so let's explain uh, uh, their difference right here. So their medians, the median for uh, 2013 is uh, definitely a lot higher than it is for 2012. When you're talking uh, billions of dollars, you know, from 69.5 billion to 74 billion, that's a lot of difference right there. So it's much greater than in 2013 than it is for 2012. Both of the range and the IQR uh, for the smaller, less than um, uh, those of 2012. So look at this range right here. This range is smaller than this range right here. So in 2013, the range is smaller and the IQR, can you see this box is smaller than this box right here? So what that means is, is that their ages were more varied in 2012. The age variance uh, varied quite a bit more. It went from um, uh, 55 all the way up to 92. And then I guess this 92 year old either lost all his money or he died or she died or whatever. Okay, so the uh, by 2013, um, uh, the variance uh, decreased quite a bit. All right, I hope that makes sense, you guys. Um, and if you're in my class, I'm going to sign that. Take care, you guys.